Okay, now I've got home. Um, unfortunately, just as I sat down to make this video, two of my neighbours have decided to start mowing their grass, but I, I'm going to I'm going to plow on regardless. Now, I have opened up the Copenhagen Library website here. Now, it is in Danish. I'm using Chrome, so you could change it um, to translate it into English. And also, you can see here's a bus that says in English. But I'm going to carry on with it in Danish. Um, pop up here, you do log in. That's your loaner number or your CPR number. Generally, when you register at the library, you register to use your CPR card. Then you put the PIN in, uh, which is again a number, a four-digit number that you've come up with at the library when you've um, when you've joined with your CPR number. Then you click on log in. Now earlier this was super slow and it still seems to be. You can also log in using your name ID if you wish to. Now it says you're now logged in. Um, you're now logged in. It's changed it to English, we'll stick with that. Now up here, you've got my account. It shows any um, loans that you have that are, um, are due back and you'll pass the due date. Your loans, reservations that are ready to pick up, reservations you have waiting, your personal library, so that's, that's everything on here, uh, your user profile and fees and replacements, that's fees and fines. So what I wanted to show you today is how to search for um, a particular book which may be somewhere on the Copenhagen library um, stores. So it could be in the main library in the city centre, it could be out in Valbu, it could just be in a storage place. I, I don't know how their system works. But you can order and reserve any book that they have in Copenhagen and have it delivered for collection at your local library, which in your account you can set um, as the, the local library that you want and that's where your books will go. However, it's really important to say you can return your book to any Copenhagen library. It doesn't have to be the library that you check that book out of. It can be any library in Copenhagen. So let's type in an author. Now I'm going to put in Jojo Moyes, she's an author I've uh, kept up down there, uh, an author that I've recently started reading quite a few books by. Um, so then you click on search. Now it's looking and it says to please wait. Um, so it's looking, there we go. Now it's come up with search results. You can see there are 139 results. So what you want to do if you're after a book is you can come down here, you click there, where it says book, so that reduces it to 41 um, things in the search. Just thinking again, okay, so it's done book for you. Then you want to go down here. If you want to read it in German or in Danish or in English, they're the languages they have her books available in, you check the relevant box. Now I'm going to check on English because I like to read my books in English. Okay, and now it's come up with um, a few books by Jojo Moyes. Now, I've not read The Ship of Bright, so I'm gonna choose that one for the example today. So you click on that. It thinks a little bit more again. And next you'll have a window that you can choose to reserve the book in. When it finally goes zoom, Don't know why my internet's so slow today. Oh, now there's dogs barking outside. There we go. So the book's come up, here it is. It's a book, The Ship of Brides, tells us what it's about there. Now you can add it to your list if you want to, if you think, oh, I don't want it right now, but I might read it another time. Show on map, uh, it tells you which library it's currently in. So perhaps it might actually be in your local library and you can just go down there and take it from the shelf. Now for me, that library um, is not a nearby library for me. So I want to click on book, or it will say reserve in Danish. And it says the Ship of Brides is reserved for pickup at biggest level, which is my chosen library, and I'm number one in the queue. If you're number one in the queue, that generally means that that book is available somewhere in the library system, and it will be in your local library within one or two days. You receive an email if you set it up on your account with a, an email address. Um, and you'll get an email when it comes in and it will tell you where you can find it on the reserve shelves. But you can also find that in that machine that I showed earlier. You can find out where you're, you're, if you've got reservations ready to pick up, where you'll find them. So now you can see I have four books in uh, my reservation line. So we've got Harry Potter. We're number one in line for that. 
Paris for One and Other Stories, number one, The Ship of Brides, number one. And this Lego minifigures book, uh, we're number three in line, which means we're probably going to have to wait up to a couple of months uh, for that book to come in. Um, that tells you when the last date that you're prepared to wait for it is. They set an automatic date there. You can change that yourself if you want to. So that's really how it works. Um, I don't think I'm going to show you how to do user profile because I think it will have some personal details there. But I'll take a look and maybe maybe I can. But nevertheless, you go into the user profile and there will be a section that says, what do you want to be your, I think it says your home library or, or words to that effect. And you select the library that is closest to you. Um, now, for me, the library that I cho choose is not closest to me, but it's closest to where I tend to be most days. So I've chosen that as my library. So there we go. Now, if you decide after a while, um, you don't really want one of these books. Now, this one I don't want. Um, there you can select it and then you just delete that one so now the library knows that I no longer want that book and the next person in line uh, can get it so I hope that makes sense um, but really the, there are thousands of books in the library's um, catalogue and you can you can as you see just order them and have them sent to your local library um, there's also a section on here about uh, activities so you look at things that are going on um, in different libraries and uh, there it's got the main library down there. So that's, if we go up here libraries, let me just show you this, is this gonna? Yeah, here we go. This is all the libraries um, that are in Copenhagen. Remember I showed you that leaflet had the map with them on, but, but this is them here. Um, so you can go through and you can look and see where your local library is. Um, see that there's even one in, in the hospital. Many areas will have a small library. Um, see, the Valby Library here is, is pretty small. Um, they'll have a small library with a small selection of books. But as you can see, that doesn't matter because you can, uh, you can just go into the system and order them. Hope that helps.